So I get asked quite a lot on YouTube and on Instagram about how I tremolo pick on chords or two notes at a time. So I thought I'd do a video and explain it. So I'm just using a regular pick. I'm using one of these little Darvers, which is really cool. They've got a rubber grip, but anyway, you can use any pick, it doesn't matter. So one of the things that's important is your right hand, obviously, because of tremolo picking, but it's where you put your right hand. So if you're, if you're locking your wrist on the bridge, you're gonna struggle, because if you look at the sweep, okay, so I'm limited to where I can pick. If I try and pick two strings, it's difficult to do that. So your, your arm needs to be free, or your forearm needs to be free of the guitar. So don't have it locked on the guitar, have it up away from the guitar. And then I can pick all six, no problem. And then it's just a matter of speeding up the wrist. So just to show you that little riff that I was playing a minute ago, we're playing a D minor chord and a G minor chord to begin with. And we're gonna, and we're gonna pick the D and the G string. Now, one thing I will say here, you, you might have spotted this, is these three fingers here are just gently touching the scratch plate. So when I'm picking, they are on the scratch plate. They don't have to be, that's just the way I do it. As long as you're, you, as long as you're not locking your wrist down, you should be able to do it without, because I could do it with, with my wrist free like this. I just find it a bit easier having those three, those three, not three, fingers loose. So what I'm doing there, I'm picking the D and the G, and then I'm picking the B and the E. Then I'm changing the chord to a G minor, and I'm doing the same, so picking the D and the G, then the B and the E. Changing back. And then I'm playing this. So we've got a three on the bottom string and a one on the A. Two on the bottom string, five on the A. Keep the middle finger here, and then we're gonna play this power chord. So we've got six on the bottom string, eight on the A, and then six on the bottom string, and seven on the A. And I'm just tremolo picking those two note, those two strings. But again, that that technique is identical. So what I want you to do now is practice this riff. And if you have to slow it down, put it in a metro, put the metronome on and keep the time. So again, just practice that technique where your where your sweep of your pick should really just be hitting those two strings. So if it's too wide, you're gonna hit all of the strings, which is fine if that's what you wanna practice. And you should do that if you wanna practice your strumming your chords. So it's the same technique, um, but we're gonna just practice keeping that, keeping that sweep nice and tight just to get those two strings. And then we're gonna move down to the high B and E. Then change over. So practice that. And then we're gonna play the last two notes, or the last two strings, should I say, because we've done the D, the G, the B and the E, but we haven't done the E and the A. So we're gonna come down to. And again, try and make sure you're picking in multiples of four. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
so it's not just random picking. So make sure you're actually picking in time. So. Um, that's pretty much it really, that is the technique. What you'll notice here is, if you look here, my when well, my wrist is against the, the guitar, if I just take that away, uh, or flatten that hand, so you see that the here the wrist is fairly straight, but when I move it off, the wrist is more bent, and it's away from the body. So one thing I used to do was take a little soft squidgy ball or a rolled up pair of socks and just put it here so that you rest your um, wrist on the sock to keep it in that position in fact I'll show you what I mean so here I have my pair of socks and if you put it under your wrist here it will give you that angle that you need until you're used to that and you can just take that away and you're used to it um, Again, you don't need to use the sock or a ball or anything like that. You can literally just practice with that with that angle. Um, but that's just something that you might find useful. Anyway, I hope that answers the question of how you pick two strings or more at a time. If you've got any other questions, just put them in the comments. See you later.